Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Zano, and this is another episode of the World Famous University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, that we're coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to forgive me for laughing, because I talked for 30 minutes. I was, hey, this is my hand to God. I'm here in the Target parking lot, ladies and gentlemen. I recorded, I was decided, it's a nice day outside, I just came back from helping my wife with the business, I got my hair cut. Family's watching the baby. I said, you know what? It's a nice day. I'm going to record from the Target parking lot. And I hit the button. I thought I hit the button. And I'm just talking and talking and talking, talking. And then I look down and I go, what in the world? It's not recorded? Ah, oh, come on, man. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. <laughs> well, I'm back. This is the first time you're going to hear this spiel, but I'm here to tell you. And uh, I'm going to... I'm going to tell you what I was talking about. Well, apparently I was just talking to myself, but I was talking about how try not, don't, do not suffer from burnout. You know, watch, watch yourself. You know, if you feel yourself getting burnt out, take a day off, take two days off. You know, if you're building a business and at the same time you're working at a job or if you're just building a business, you know, and if you feel yourself getting burnt out, take a day off, take two days off, you know. Get some rest. Get some recuperation. And I bring that up because my parents, they came just in time because I was, start, I was, starting, to, I was starting to the fade, you know, uh, um, between working, trying to do the podcast, trying to take care of my mother-in-law. It's like, whoo, it's a lot, you know, and it's a struggle sometimes. And my parents, they came this weekend. They've been watching the baby. I've been sleeping a lot. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I, they've, they've, they've helped me out. My brothers watched the baby and... You know, the my wife has been able to come home, take care of her mom, and it's been like a recuperation, and it's very, it's been very nice and very pleasant. And so, don't don't burn yourself out. And I and I, I'll tell you what I just said on, on the Phantom on the Phantom episode of the podcast. I uh, I have the type of personality when I get burnt out on something, I will never pick it up again. It does not matter what it is. I've burnt out on food, I've burnt out on video games, I've burnt out on TV shows, and I'll never go back. You know, once I'm done, I'm done. That's it. And I'll give you an example. I used to eat pancakes when I was a, a kid, eight or nine. I would eat pancake, 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 pancake. One day I got sick. And I remember I threw up. And I said, you know what? I'm done with pancakes. And I haven't had a pancake since. And yesterday we went to... The, the International House of Pancakes, also known as IHOP, and um, my parents they had pancakes, and they, my dad said, "You don't want any pancakes?" I said, "No, I'm just gonna get a waffle, man." So I don't eat pancakes no more. And he said, "Oh yeah, you used to eat pancakes, then uh, you just stopped one day." And I said, "Yeah, I just stopped." I said, "They got burnt out on them." He said, "That's cool." I'm like, "Thank you, <laughs> thank you, sir." <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, just just be careful about getting burnt out, and then. Um, this is the main crux of the show. I was talking about my barber. My barber, ladies and gentlemen, he, he does art. He's a barber and he does art. And he has, he told me some great news because before he would go to art shows, he's, he'd been cutting my hair for five years. And before he would, he, first he worked, he worked in a shop with somebody and then he got his own shop. And he said, man, I'm going to start doing art, man. He said, I love to draw it. I'm going to start doing it on the side again and see what happens. And so he went from just doing art Takes the pictures, posted them, and then he started going to art shows. And then he started going to art shows every weekend. And now he has um, drummed up enough business to where he has opened up a store in uh, in a mall in Atlanta. And he said his wife is going to be there for four days a week. He's going to work there Fridays and Saturdays, so he won't be cutting hair on Fridays and Saturdays. And I said, man, that's pretty cool. And he said, hey, man, it's, it, it's great. He said, he said, man, I just hung in there, man. That's it. And I was like, that's it. I was like, that's going to be the episode of the podcast. Listen, nobody's perfect. Nobody's an expert when they start off doing anything. Nobody's an expert. Nobody's an e-commerce genius. Nobody's a, you know, nobody's Warren Buffett when they first invest in the stock. Nobody's a wizard at affiliate marketing when they first get started. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, 
you just got to get started and you got to be consistent and you got to hang in there and yeah things are going to happen bumps are going to be in the road but it's an everyday process and the process every day whether you whether you are building your website every day or not it always you all you're always going to be thinking about this stuff you're always going to be wanting to figure out different ways you can make things better i mean you see me in this this podcast some days i think god i need more i need more listenership god i need a th- i need five thousand downloads in a day it, it's not it's not happening yet and it's not going to happen unless i keep going because we as we well know people join you people join you nobody want nobody wants to start up nobody wants to be around the startup startup group you know what i mean people like the it's like if you watch basketball Nobody, nobody believed in the Milwaukee Bucks until they actually won the NBA title. Now everybody's on the board, and they're like, "I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan." And that's just how it goes in life. People like champions. They don't like, you know, hey, this guy's on the on the cusp. You know, some people do. You know, you have the you have the early adapters, which if you listen to this podcast, you are one of those. Okay, and so uh, there are going to be a lot more people one day telling you there are going to be people. And you're going to be like. I've been listening to this guy since uh, he was he was doing he was doing podcasts in parking lots. He was doing podcasts on trucks. He, he used to do podcasts everywhere. Now he does a podcast from one you know centralized location, which for the most part I still do. But you know you understand what I'm saying. It won't be as it'll be more it'll be more clean. It'll be more crisp. It'll be more precise. And that's just the way it goes. It'll be more. What, what, what do they say? As a guy told me one time, he used to listen to this rock band. I said, I, why you don't listen to them anymore? He said, he said, hey, man, commercialized, man. I don't, he said, they was more fun before they got big. And I said, that's very interesting, sir. He said, I don't like them anymore. And I thought, huh. And I thought about that one day. I said, huh. One day that'll be me, huh? I said, somebody would be like, I like that guy when he used to hit the uh-huhs and the, and the uh, you knows and all that. Now he's a... Uh, now he's too crisp, you know. It's too, it's too perfect, you know. Some people don't like perfection. Some people don't like you sounding all perfect, you know. And just, just, just how it goes. Everybody's different. But people, a lot of people like that. And a lot of people will join you when you have it down pat. A lot of people will join you when you won the championship, two championships. Uh, I'll tell you like this: When I was a kid, you couldn't find a New England Patriots fan to save your life. I'm a 42 year old man now. Everybody in my mama claims they're a New England Patriots fan, so. That, that tells you anything if you watch football all right people like big time things but you can't become big time unless you stay with it unless you keep going keep striving and keep moving forward and it's not about the end it's just about the journey every day is a, every day is going to be a different day every day is going to be a, pit, a different part and all you can do is hang in there figure things out you know take notes figure out what's working what, what ain't working you know Swap this for swap that, you know. Sort of like, uh, sort of like when I was in the navy, we used to do these. Uh, we used to have these. I used to work in a torpedo magazine, so we, you know, we had the torpedoes on the ship. We would shoot the torpedoes, and we would have to do these checks about different about d- different instruments we use for the torpedoes. And so you had to take one, you take one card out, put the card in, see if it worked or not. If it worked, kept it in there. If it didn't work, take it out. You do the same. Take one card out, put it put it back in. It's a very long process, but you know what? At the end of the day, when it was time to shoot those torpedoes, boom, boom, boom. We was able to fire them off with ease because we put in the work before three months before we would start this whole process about putting in different cards and different equipment for the torpedo. Now I can't remember these. I can't remember the names of the equipment, so yeah, I, I deeply apologize. For, I would love to tell you about the Torpedo Magazine, but I, I can't remember anything about that. So I, I deeply apologize. But I tell you what, it's a very cool job, I must say, shooting off torpedoes on a boat. On the US on the on the US Navy vessel. Oh uh, man, that was one of the that was I never forget that as long as I as long as I live, you know what I mean? Lord willing, of course. But you know, if I don't get all times or something, maybe I still remember, but who knows? But anyway. But it's just a process and but once you once we did the 
once we went out to sea, we would go out in the middle of the sea, and then we say, all right, everything's systems all to go because we put in the work ahead of time. And once we shot the torpedoes, that was the most fun part. Before that stuff, it was <clears throat> boring. Swapping them cards out, doing all this stuff, going to get you know little glue and little making sure every piece of equipment worked. You know, all that stuff was boring. But shooting the torpedoes, that was fun. It was beautiful and it was nice, all because of the prep work we did. You know. And so, wait till you get to where you want to go, you know, wait till you get to where you, it's like, I'm not, I've done all the work, I've checked everything out, now I'm shooting torpedoes, boom, 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 and that, and the torpedo will basically be like, the money will start coming in, you know, and like right now, you know, uh, you do a YouTube channel, you, you're you probably making zero dollars, you might even be making a few bucks. If you do a podcast, you're making a few dollars, you're making a few peanuts, you know, you're not getting rich. But wait till, the, wait till you get the thousand downloads on a daily basis. Wait till you get the people that want to be an affiliate for you, or they want to be an affiliate. They want you to say, hey man, can you, you know, I'll give you 50% 50, 50 of the income if you be an affiliate for me for this product, you know. Wait till that starts happening, and then it's boom, boom, boom. Boom, you know, and that is one of the best feelings that you could ever have when something when something that you put in so much work for it works. I'm telling you, it's like God. It's like God. I can't believe this, you know. It's like my parents came home. Me and my wife, my wife found out she was pregnant in December, January. We had this room. It was, it was a god awful room, you know. It was it was full of junk, full of trash. It was just, and Mark said, we should make this into the baby room. And I said, I'll get started. And it was a process. Every weekend, I'm, every weekend, I'm just over here taking out trash, taking out different clothes, you know, getting rid of them, doing this, doing that. And then finally, we got that done. And then somebody they came and painted. And then her friends came and painted this, and we got some stuff in there. And now you're walking in, and you're like, oh, my God. And my, my mom was like, this is a beautiful room. And I was like, you should have seen it before, you know? And it's like, the end result, boom, boom, boom. It's like, we have a beautiful room for our daughter, you know? And I'm very proud of that room. And I'm more proud of the work that we put in than the actual end result. I don't really care about the end result. I'm more excited about the work that me and my wife put in, you know? And so, ladies and gentlemen, put in that work. And the end result, boom, boom, boom. When the boom, boom starts... Get, cut, sit back, get yourself a beverage, you know, whatever, and be like, I did this, you know. It's sort of like every every now and then I have every now and then I'll equate this to the podcast, then I go. But every now and then, ladies and gentlemen, I, I every now and then I'm sitting at home and I'll check the look at the podcast. And I'm like, I got downloads. I'm like, they didn't download the episode today, and it's like from from last year from six months ago and i'm like boom 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 and there it is ladies and gentlemen and that's it for the episode today just remember put in that work and i'm telling you boom 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 all right and so ladies and gentlemen we'll be back tomorrow with all new episode of online market moves but until then my name is tom Rizzano. thank you for listening and as always everybody Oh, before we go, ladies and gentlemen, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. This is the best podcast in three galaxies. We'll be back tomorrow with our new episode of Online Marketing Movement. Until then, my name is Tom Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.